So this is by far the most interesting development that I genuinely did not expect. And that is the fact that Q-Star is a confirmed leak from OpenAI. We now have an interview where Sam Altman actually stated that this leak is basically true. So um, with that statement, I do want to say that, of course, not everything about Q-Star is true. There is a lot of conspiracy floating around on the internet. But first, let's look into what actually was said, decipher what was said, and then we can evaluate all of the information that we do have without jumping to any conclusions. So what do we have? So we have a new interview from The Verge. So essentially, The Verge did an interview with Sam Altman because they wanted to understand why he was fired and they asked him a bunch of questions. One of the things he said in this interview was clearly our governance structure had a problem. And this is one of the most enlightening interviews, although there is a bit of vagueness around certain statements, which is to be expected because, and the reason these guys are really vague is because I'm assuming that they want to keep a level of professionality. They don't just want to make brash statements that could affect not only the company's image, but their image too. So we're gonna get into one of the first things that was said, and then I'm gonna get onto the exact statement that tells tells us that QSTAR was actually something that really did occur and is actually true. So you can see that they talk about when Sam Altman was fired and he says when OpenAI's board asked Sam Altman to return a day after they fired him, he initially felt hurt and angry. It took me a few minutes to snap out of it and get over the ego and emotions to then be like, yeah, of course I want to do that. He told me by phone on Wednesday, obviously I really love the company and had poured my life force into this for the last four and a half years full time. Really longer than that with most of my time. And we're making such great progress on the mission of safe and beneficial AGI. Now that's essentially Sam Altman for the first time in an interview talking about him being fired and you can completely understand his emotions. But the next screenshot that I'm about to show you definitely shook me a little bit because I wasn't expecting it to be this true. So, so this is where Sam Altman confirms that QSTAR is true. We get a question from The Verge and they say that the reports about the QSTAR model breakthrough that you all recently made, what's going on there? And then Altman responds saying no particular comment on that unfortunate leak. So Sam Altman didn't deny it. He didn't say that leak is absolutely bogus. He said no comment on that unfortunate leak. So it's unfortunate that that information got out, which essentially means that Reuters were right in their assumption that there was something called QSTAR and whatever open AI employees that they spoke to, it's likely that the source was legit. Now remember, this is a statement by Sam Altman himself. So that means that this definitely has a lot of credence to it. And I mean, it couldn't be anyone else saying this that would give this any more credence. So let's continue to read this and then I'm gonna recover everything we know about QSTAR because now that we know that this leak actually is from OpenAI and Sam Altman kind of confirmed it himself, means we need to kind of look at the information again from a different angle. So he says, but what we have been saying two weeks ago is that what we are saying today, what we have been saying a year ago and what we were saying early on is that we expect progress in this technology to continue to be rapid and also that we expect to continue to work very hard to figure out how to make it safe and beneficial. That's why we got up every day before. That's why we will get up every day in the future and I think we have been extraordinarily consistent. So Sam Altman saying, you know, no particular comment on that unfortunate leak means that, look, the leak was true, but I can't comment on it. So whatever speculation is out there, some things, of course, aren't going to be true. And of course, there are some things that are going to be true. But what we do know is that in time, we will know. Now, later on, he does also talk further. And in the paragraph, this is what is after that paragraph. He says, without commenting on any specific thing or project or whatever, we believe that progress is research. You can always hit a wall, but we are expected progress will continue to be significant. And we want to engage with the world about that and figure out how to make this as possibly good as possible. So now that we know that Sam Altman has essentially said no comment on that unfortunate leak, that essentially means that this leak is true. So that means that, so now that actually means that this has some serious implications. So if QSTAR is actually true, then that means there are some other things that we initially dismissed as being false are likely true, which means we need to reevaluate some of the information that was said. And the source that we're going to be reevaluating is that from the Reuters letter, because that is the earliest piece of information we did get. And that is the source of all of the media that we do have online, apart from some things on 4chan. 
And then of course, this means that other things are likely to be true as well. Now, there was also something that was quite confusing by Mira Marati, where in this interview, they interviewed Mira Marati as well. And Verge asked her, they said, is anything about OpenAI's approach to safety work changing as a result? And they said, no, this has nothing to do with safety. So they're saying that nothing to do with safety, but I just don't believe that we're being told the full story. But for now, we can only take what we're being told in interviews and then go with that information. So of course, we do have to look back to where the leak actually started. And this leak from Reuters is the first piece of information that we did get. You can see it says here, OpenAI researchers warned board of AI breakthrough ahead of CEO Alster, and this was at the November 2022. This is exactly what they said. Several staff researchers wrote a letter to the board of directors warning of a powerful AI discovery that they said could threaten humanity. Now, what was interesting was that they also talked about how it was actually two sources and that the previously unreported letter and an AI algorithm were key developments before the board's ouster of out. Now, I do find it interesting because what you have to know here is that if several staff did write a letter to the board, you have to understand that I'm not sure they told senior developers at OpenAI. Like, for example, they wouldn't have told Sam Altman that they were writing this letter. They would have just realized what's going on, wrote this letter to the board. Then the board would have just acted immediately and then Sam Altman would have been fired. I'm guessing that's what would have transpired. And then, of course, we do have a problem with this leak because take a look at this. So it says the sources cited the letter as one factor among a longer list of grievances by the board leading to Altman's firing, among which there were concerns over commercializing advances before understanding the consequences. And the problem is that Reuters was unable to review a copy of the letter. The staff who wrote the letter did not respond to requests for comment. So the problem here that we have is that Reuters was unable to review a copy of the letter, which means that, you know, that letter that was leaked on Reddit, Reuters didn't get to see it. So Reuters can't confirm if that letter that was floating around on Reddit and 4chan, if it was true or not. So that letter will be dissected in another video coming shortly because there is a ton of information that is truly shocking about that. And like I said before, it would be much better if this information wasn't true because the ramifications and global implications are definitely. So you can see right here, Reuters said after being contacted by Reuters, OpenAI, which declined to comment, acknowledged in an internal message to staffers a project called QSTAR and a letter to the board before the weekend's events, one of the people said. An OpenAI spokesperson said that the message sent by longtime executive Mira Marati alerted staff to certain media stories without commenting on their accuracy. And then of course, we have Reuters not seeing the letter. So this letter, there's a lot of stuff. I did break it down once, but we do need to break it down again because like I said, more information has come out. And trust me, I'd say you're going to be quite shocked at the information coming out because it doesn't debunk the letter. It only makes the letter stronger, which is definitely concerning. And like I said, I hope this letter isn't true because ramifications aren't great for anyone. Now, something also that Sam Altman did say in the interview that I thought was quite interesting was, a question was, do you want to be back on the board? And then he said, this is going to sound like a PR talk. It's not my area of focus right now. I have no, I have a mountain of very difficult, important and urgent work. I want to be able to do my job well, but it's not like being on the board or not. That's not the thing I'm spending my time thinking about. And I'm thinking, is that urgent work making sure that QSTAR doesn't destroy or threaten humanity or is that just the standard stuff that's going on at OpenAI such as the GPT. So then of course we have more information. So it says some people at OpenAI believe Q pronounced Q star could be a breakthrough in the startup search for what's known as AGI and it does say given vast computing resources we did cover this but I'm going to cover it again. The new model was able to solve certain mathematical problems the person said on condition of anonymity because the individual was not authorized to speak on behalf of the company so only performing math on the level of grade school students acing such tests made researchers very optimistic about QSTAR's future success. So the reason this is quite scary is because Sam Altman has said that the leak is unfortunate. So we do know that there is a project that is being worked on called QSTAR. And the only thing we don't know is that we don't know if these capabilities are real or not. A part of the Reuters letter, they did actually say we were unable to confirm these capabilities. But I think it's clear now that what we're starting to see is that QSTAR might just not be a giant conspiracy theory that we once thought it was. Because Sam Altman in this recent interview with The Verge did say that this was an unfortunate leak. And in addition to that, he did say that we expect progress in the technology to continue to be rapid and we have to make sure to figure out how to make it safe. The only question that now does remain in the minds of everyone 
is that if we now know that Q-Star was a real leak and Sam Altman said it was an unfortunate leak, why is it that everyone is saying that this wasn't the reason that they fired Sam Altman if they haven't given any other reason? People like Elon Musk have reached out to Ilya Satskova with no comment being said. Emmett Shear, one of the members of the board at the time, asked around and there weren't any reasons. And allegedly it wasn't, wasn't regarding AI safety. So that means that clearly something here is going on. Either it was regarding AI safety and they don't want to say because it's going to make OpenAI look really bad. It wasn't AI safety and QSTAR is a breakthrough, but it doesn't threaten humanity. Or there was a third reason that they just don't want to say. Either way, like I said, I don't think this is something that we're ever going to know because the way in which they're being deliberately vague, nobody's saying anything, and it just seems like Chinese whispers at this point, with many members of the board and many members of AI seemingly confused. I don't even think this is something to be focusing on why Sam Altman is fired. What we do need to focus on is what exactly is QSTAR and how far ahead are OpenAI in terms of achieving AGI. The leak of QSTAR is seemingly true, which means that they are working on something and potentially they could be very close to AGI. So the other questions that I also have is about Ilya Satskova. Where is he going to be? And in the recent video, we did talk about the fact that he's no longer potentially going to be one of the key members at OpenAI. Sam Altman did say in a recent statement that he loves him, he holds no ill will to him, but they're currently figuring out exactly what to do with his position at OpenAI. So that will be very interesting. Overall, it's definitely very confusing, but this definitely shows us that this Reuters article was more likely true than not. However, we don't know exactly which parts of this were true, which parts were exaggerated, but I do think the fact that Sam Altman recently said this was an unfortunate leak shows us that they aren't likely lying about this. And in addition, the nature in which Sam Altman was fired, the fact that it seemed so quick and so slapdash, definitely shows us that something did come up abrupt. Either way, time will tell, more information hopefully will be revealed, and I'm intrigued to know your comments down below.